Welcome back to another episode of Ron Polk Stuff. Uh, today we are at the cabinet shop. We are going to do the tops of the workbench too. We're going to mill in all the dog holes. Uh, I wanted them to be really straight and really perpendicular to each other. So um, well, we're going to throw those on the CNC and mill them up. Uh, I'll get some footage of the CNC running and we'll go from there. So that's pretty much what this is going to be, but I'll probably also talk about some other stuff in later clips. So stay tuned to watch the CNC router work its magic on my Ron Polk Workbench 2 tops. the milling bit and it's just freaking massive but then they'll take this and they'll resurface the sheet just to get rid of all your cooling marks so that you can put on your next piece but that's the vacuum in action unfortunately one of the sides i'll have to do a little repair on but that's all right cabinet shop check enter mom's makeshift spring paint booth staining station. I have to fix it because the plastic fell down. But she's painting some shiplap and some doors. So uh, I bargained with her to stain all these pieces with me in exchange that I do some work on the house. So I'm doing some stuff. I look really goofy in this hat right now. Um, it's just... Just make it normal again. So anyway, 
She's gonna stain these. I'm doing a couple oddball projects that she wanted done on the house. Um, let me flip the camera around, show you how these things turned out because they're insane. So there they are. You're gonna have to excuse my walking because there's paper on the floor and it makes some noise. But uh, I think they are quite nice, quite nice indeed. Um, how it shook out is uh, these are just a smidgen shy of two feet actual width because of the saw kerf, you know, when you cut it in half. Plus I wanted to do a clean cut, make them both the same. So, um, you know, I don't want to give away any measurements or anything like that uh, because, you know, Ron Polk does own all the plans to this stuff and I don't want to take away from any of his sales, but um, <clears throat> these are identical. This one and this one are the exact same width and the uh, dog holes are perfectly centered. So this is uh, four inch on center dog holes um, in either direction. And because we had them done up on the CNC, uh, everything is perfectly uh, parallel and perpendicular to each other. So uh, as long as I'm not jumping across benches and like if I had a longer glue up instead of doing it this way, if I did it this way, um, this is perfectly parallel. So um, that's pretty cool. The CNC did a really good job. Uh, I'll try and like zoom in on the holes. Um, just that little bit of like, I don't know, fraying out the drywall always, or drywall cheese. Plywood always does. So I'm hoping that by the time I run some 220 grit paper across these, they'll be super happy and life will be good. So that is the tops all milled up and finished. Uh, I didn't get any more video at the cabinet shop just because we ended up talking a bunch and so what I got uh, earlier is all I got. So I'm gonna put all these together and post this up online and then I'm gonna convince mom to start staining. Uh, I also have all my other parts over here. Uh, so there's the sides and all the intermediate uh, supports. And then there's one of the horses done in black, which looks mighty fine. These are in gray um, and then the sides around the edges are going to be black too. So I think it would have a lot of contrast and look really cool. And then I got some strapping for this that's cherry red. So that's going to look nice. But that will conclude this video. So uh, if you like what's going on, feel free to do all that liking and commenting and subscribing stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next iteration of Ron Polk Workbench 2. Signing off.